that's Koyona we want to say that we are grieved by your ruling and we ask for certified copies of uh, your ruling so that we seek a redress in the appropriate forum. Yes, our opinion is that for this for the simple reason that if they another if uh, uh, the plea has not been taken, the assumption is that the accused person should be let go. Because on what basis are we taking a uh, uh, bond? Or bail. You know, we are uh, in court today for purpose of taking plea. But because they are unable to take plea today, we can uh, essentially say by implication that there is no charge that has been uh, uh, leveled against them. They have been just arraigned in court today. You know, for purposes of uh, them being uh, detained, you know, what the prosecution is asking you is to give orders of pretrial detention without an application. You know, there is no basis for which the accused persons should continue serving in custody without any form of application, without anything. Like, you know, if our clients are not, cannot be released today, then we did the work because the prosecution has said that their hands are tied, they cannot make any application for bail and bond. We ask for free bond on all of them. If they are required to appear in a police station, they will appear. If they are required to come to court, they will come to court. As a matter of fact, they are public officers holding offices in this particular country. If at all they are required to appear, they will appear. But for today, because they have been filed, they can be let go on free bond. That is what we can ask. Which one? Just one. Here on the second part of this person. The prosecution has suggested that the accused person will be here. Here before you, pursuant to a charge. There is a danger that in view of the ruling, the accused person may be arbitrarily detained. And in this case, therefore, we should be clarify that they be released unconditionally over this charge that you define. I clarify what I wrote. In your subsequent ruling now, on the issue, okay. you should be clarified that they should not be detained or detained over the okay. same charges that you define. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, that is a possibility of abuse of the department of the to the detriment of the uh, yes, uh, Your Honor, as I say, uh, the issue is, is whether they are going to be present or not. And this requirement is your owner's position. say that we are agreed once more, yeah. and in that score, we also wish to ask for a stay of your ruling, pending revision in high court, which we tend to go to this very moment in the possible law. <coughs> but this is a novel scenario where we are already here to take the lead, and the court in their own way will be one of the decided to defer the plea for reasons which perhaps uh, may not be sound in law, and this is why I want to ask the High Court to have a look at your ruling. The issue of free bond cannot arise because that application can, has not come from either the defense or the prosecution for the deferment of this plea. If we were the ones prompting the court to defer the plea for the ones who are here, then we have been asked to indicate what, how are we going to secure the 
blessings the next time. So this is something purely honor from the owners. Uh, Of the calf and the and the dream. <laughs> no, no, you know, there's a new issue that has arisen in terms of staying over uh, 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 That we did not come out. I didn't capture it. Oh, you did not I didn't capture it. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that was the case. Case. Yeah. How, how do you stay? I mean, that kind of process. I was wondering. That is so. Oh, but there are issues. You can read that or not. You can read it. But you know, it's not cancelled. What happened to Masani? Because Mr. Hassan has captured and said that he was staying for. Okay. Or if they issue a and the, the party will be I can turn the uh, not or if that is not an issue, issue. Media, yeah. if that is not the issue, then that's okay. Because I heard you say that you asked you to stay in your ruling. To what end? That is what I was asking myself. Because I only need to Yes, you have any any to arrest your ruling. Okay. Yes. And what has always has the jurisdiction to review, to stay, to arrest with these decisions. So it now becomes a new ruling now? Yes. An we, issue we, now? No, no, on that question. The other people can um, respond again? Yes, on that question, um, I have it's never seen, I have never seen any stay of a ruling or a judgment in a criminal proceeding. If counsel is agreed, with the decision that you have uh, just rendered, the only remedy is to apply for a revision in the High Court or to appeal. Those are the only remedies that are provided under CPC, the Criminal Procedure Court. He has not raised the which provision is he, is, is, is he founding his argument upon. So what we are saying is that this court is found as official on that question. And for that reason, if they agree, then they appeal or review. Or rather, uh, apply for a revision in the hack. That is also a uh, good question. After the message, you have the right to We want to, to rest there. there. We want to, to continue and keep it in place so that we can see. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. We cannot go around in circles.
So the court has just delivered a ruling on the trial process. On the trial process commences. The court did rule that the process commences after the charge sheet, which involves all the accused persons, which I can't separate unless the prosecution separates them. So uh, the prosecution had no objection in the first place to the lifting of the, of the warrants of arrest for case number two and three who are present today. So the issue now is whether case two and three who are present and their warrant of arrest having already been lifted, the concurrence of all parties hearing should be released on bond or bail, bail at this stage pending the arrest of case number one or any action on the charge sheet by the prosecution there. Bail or bond is a fundamental right to everyone, even to one who's arrested and uh, are not charged. Eh? The fact that leave yet to be taken should not be a bar against the release on bail. In a case where the prosecution had no objection in the first place to the lifting of the warrant of arrest which they applied for earlier on. I do therefore consider that all the accused two and three only, accused two and three who are present today, be relieved on bond of two million Kenya shillings, a much value of a much value of similar amount. Am I clear? Accused two to four hundred, accused two, three and four. I consider them either Q2, 3, and 4. They are not present. I could 2 to 4. Yes. Eh? My record is not well reflected. I'm sorry for that. I could 2, 3, and 4. They are not present today. I consider them for a bond of 2 million Kenya shillings and one short of similar amount or cash below 500,000 Kenya shillings. Eh? 500,000 Kenya shillings. Eh? Pending plea and or the arrest of the first accused person. So meanwhile, the warrant to arrest against the first accused person is still in force. So we agree on a date. Of course, the prosecution always have a right, any part of the right to appeal within 14 days. Mr. Yagon, eh? I didn't get you. So what the record? That the other best thing to work with person, eh? Yes, that, that's where I'm getting to now. Okay. Because you my view was that you have what I wanted to address you last time, previously was that you have no jurisdiction whatsoever to grant bond because the accused persons are not before you, you have not taken any plea. And by of Article 49 H, you can only release on bond once a plea has been taken and is pending a charge. And even the judiciary board and bail terms at 4.2 G provides that you can just grant bail pending plea. But now that you, we have a ruling with us that you have granted bail before plea, I pray that that ruling do apply to all the four accused persons. Because all the four accused persons have not taken any plea. And therefore, there's no basis whatsoever for issuance of a warrant of arrest against the first accused person. 
the right to fair hearing enshrined in Article 50 of the Constitution are based to the first accused person. The first accused person is entitled to be informed of the charges facing him with sufficient details to answer those charges. The first accused person has a right to be present when being charged, and the first accused person enjoys the right of presumption of justice. I therefore do not understand the basis why a warrant of arrest would be issued at the end, and yet he has not been given any charges, he has not given uh, any plea, he has, he has he is entitled to his rights under Article 50 of the Constitution. Number two, the first accused person is not a fugitive. I have explained why he is in Canada. He is in Canada. He went to Canada way before investigations commenced. As to why he singled out among the four accused persons for a warrant of arrest, then for me, I would not understand that. Uh, By the time he went abroad, no investigations had commenced. And even when investigations were ongoing, he was never informed that the investigations are ongoing. He was never summoned to record a statement, even online, and neither was he informed to appear in court yesterday or today. Your Honor, um, Section 47 of the Criminal Procedure Court provides that a warrant of arrest can only be issued in case there is breach of peace. In fact, that provision goes to further provide that a court can only issue summons against an accused person if he is not present in court. I do not understand the basis then for warrants being issued against the first accused person who, who through me has committed to come back and plead to the charges. After all, as we speak, we have an amended charge sheet, which was not available at the time the warrants were issued. The warrants of arrest were issued on the basis of the old charge sheet, which has now been overtaken by events. As such, the warrant of arrest is spent and is overtaken by events. I request your honor that the warrant of arrest against the first person be lifted and the bonus that you issued as uh, in, in favor of the three accused persons or persons do also avail to the first accused person. I am ready to the hand. Yes, um, I wish to have you respond to counsel. Uh, in fact, I wish to thank Mark for speaking aloud uh, uh, for us as well. You know, you have granted what has actually amounted to anticipatory bail. And as he has correctly pointed out, that this court is not vested with such jurisdiction. In fact, these are some of the issues, Your Honor, that we wish to now expose to the High Court when we go for the issue. Because we need to set the jurisprudence right and straight, if not for any other reason. I wish to clarify to counsel that uh, your client had a code of I think he has misinformed you. And when you do the disclosure, I mean, I don't yes. uh, I'm sorry, Yes. So, so when, when disclosure will be done, that will become clear. Your client has recorded a statement contrary to uh, what counsel is submitting here. Yeah. The issue of warrant is on. Uh, he's not here. The first accused person is not here. And on that basis alone, the warrant's issue is valid and shall continue to be valid until such time as this accused person stands up in court. I was hoping that my learned friend was going to ask 
you, your honor, to review your ruling. Because I, I think it's so short of asking you to review your ruling. I'm saying this on a light touch. He feels that I've turned. Okay, he began very far. He <laughs> think that that ruling on one term is okay, but his plan should also benefit. In, in yeah, fact, uh, uh, that, that was an after thought, I think, because yes. Yes. once the ruling is void, have been issued, then all the consequences arising there from are also null and void. Right. So it cannot be right to vest benefits to his clients as they have accrued to the other accused persons when there's an acknowledgement that the order there was absolutely no jurisdiction to grant the order that vests such benefits. So counsel I hope that I was praying that I was going to ask for a review. Again, the issue may arise whether it is procedural or not. But a court always has, regardless of the technical uh, and procedural uh, technicalities, uh, that has inherent jurisdiction to express justice at all costs. Justice is not confined to certain cases. Always, you know, the court has inherent jurisdiction to right any wrongs that it seems fit to do so. So again, as I said, Your Honor, we have to develop the students. Let's see what the high is going to decide on this. I'm most obliged. Uh, just, just, just to point out that uh, here, I believe that this is a, purely, it's a novel ruling which has come from your court, Your Honor. It's a purely novel ruling. The first of it is this kind, I want to say, in my many years of practice. Uh, so, so let's see what the High Court has to say about this. That's how we develop to the students. So from, from the application and your response, it is that uh, the issue is whether I have or whether that ruling of mine is in the nature of the federal appeal. Yes, of course, the right to appeal is very directed at him. Eh? So the issue is from him and from what I tend to respond. What you're responding to, sorry, is whether my ruling is in the nature of a total bail, which uh, as you're submitting and agreeing, I have no decision to grant. Eh? So, do I need to make a ruling on that? Because I think it's the number one. The right to appeal is granted, uh, there's no problem. We'll type for you the ruling immediately. We'll be there with the typist today, you'll get the ruling within one hour. Uh, you have no issue with that one. But they make a ruling on that. On that. Sorry, I think Because this will be, for, will be here for long, eh? so we need to control ourselves also. We are not here for, yes, so the issue, so what is your issue at first? Because I want to call everybody say, because Mine you made, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute, cancel, eh? you made, you rose up after doing my ruling, and you, you made the application, which I understood, you wanted uh, us to extend the bond terms to the other party. Of course, I was saying that I have no jurisdiction. He has made a, a response on that. And he was also confused. He said, are you agreeing with that or not? 
You will not be a convict. Are you that or not? Eh? So from what from your application you made after I made my ruling, which I, I, I should hear you also. But I can't hear you forever. I can't hear you for the entire day. So I, I, just a minute. Eh? I, I heard you very well and you, you responded. Eh? So I am going to frame the issue which I'm supposed you want me to pronounce myself on. Eh? Which I pronounce that is what I've made, the ruling I've made, eh? a bit anticipatory rebellion. And if it is the one, then do you have the duty to that? Yes, so do you stop it there? I'm going to make a ruling on that. Of course, of course, you have the right to appeal. Appeal, you're going to get the appeal. That's no problem. So don't make my ruling on that. Eh? Sorry, I just wanted to clarify. Yes. The ruling I'm seeking from you is only one that the first accused person, first one to your ruling, do be, be equally released on bond pending plea. That's my prayer. So do I change again? You read the issue and started with which is also green. You say very well, yes, you have really helped him. So then make a ruling on that. So I'm going to come back. What we say, yes, what we yeah. say is, that was by the way. But because we have a ruling, and you have not instituted to vary your own ruling, yes. we will stay with it. And therefore, what we are only asking is, staying with that ruling, may we have the first accused person benefit from that ruling, so when I come back here, can I determine on your application on whether to extend the bone term to the first accused person? I think that's what I, I need to come and then we'll close the finish. Yes, I'll give you the proceedings now. Can I get them? Yes, which again will amount to you being the ruling. Of course. Of course, he's asking me to review, but he had begun very well that he, re he read a very serious legal issue that yes. what I have delivered amounts to a total rebellion. That's why he was raising and we have agreed with him. Yes. So can I make a That one will have an impact on what he's trying to do. So my plea, Your Honor, would be yes, eh? uh, have to confine yourself to that particular aspect of the decision. Yes. So and let me come back. The same terms that you have given to extend Two of them, eh? So do I write that you agree with the, the so you do not agree you do not agree with the council that uh, the term should have turned to all a kiss person. Sorry, Your Honor. I, I disagree with uh, Mr. Yego. Mr. Yego, we are solving this problem. I'm here to determine a dispute. I'm not here to lecture people. I'm a judge. A judge a, a judge gets a dispute and resolves that dispute only. He does lecture people. So let, let, let me not be lecturing you, please. Eh? What is the dispute? I'm trying to ask you, what, is the dispute? what do I mean to rule on? I should rule on what is the dispute here on I've already submitted He's one, saying, only one issue for determination. Yes. The first at this person, they release from court. It is uh, like he's agreeing also now that there is no dispute for any father. I grant the bond terms to all of them. No, no, no he's not told me. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's yes. The, the, the accused persons who are here cost uh, 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 what we all have said. And that the first accused persons warrant is still in force. It is in force. So I have not agreed that you will need mm. to extend uh, the terms for the ones who are here to the first accused yes. persons. Yes, yes, yes. It's just that uh, by God's grace yes, that he has raised this pertinent issue, which we were saying we were going to raise in the high okay. here quietly. Uh, so, so you cannot, you cannot again sit and review those terms. If they are agreed, let them join us in the high court. Let's go together. Because you have no jurisdiction yes, to yeah. review your yes. own ruling. According to you. But for purposes of respect to the development of you can say something about the, that particular aspect. And it's purely perhaps for identity purposes. Yes, yes. At this point. I know, I know, I know. Thank yes, you. to clarify to the part of my legal position, yeah. the yeah. I need to clarify. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing this as I'm navigating on a, on a very simple issue. Yes. You have made a, you have made a ruling, a ruling that the accused person will be released on a cash bail of a certain amount or a bond of a certain amount. That is your ruling. 
That's my role. In, in, in fact, you can pay the cash bill now. Then I can pay you. You be paying the cash bill now, <laughs> or, or the bone profit. That is your role. Any other person can take it up and give a high. Yeah, no issue with that. Yeah. So the only issue that is remaining, Your Honor, from my analysis, yes. is whether those particular orders extend. The first. first, first, whether the the, the, uh, the warrant of arrest from the fact that this person will be lifted or not. Then second, whether those bond and bail terms extend to the first this person if the uh, warrant has been lifted. Those are the only issues. Right? Could be. Any other issue, Your Honor? So uh, warrant of yeah. arrest is right, and that, and that one, I don't need to go and return myself. Yes. It's common that if you are not present, we, 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 which warrant of arrest? Yes. So, Your Honor, on the question of whether yes. you are ruling amounts to an anticipated bail or not, yes. those are questions of the high court will determine. You cannot determine that. You are fact, That is the position of that. Yeah. And that's why I say it's good yeah. for everything purposes. But, again, no. you want to develop the students, you can say something about it. I can say something about it. it. You know, I can say, I need to say something about it, but I need to say something about it because in the court, I, w I won't be hard. <laughs> so, let me give the direction now. Uh, as far as okay, as far I'm concerned, the, the prosecution council is, cor is correct and I'm okay. I've delivered my rule on bond terms. That one now, you, you, don't need, you don't need to raise an issue. Right? In fact, I expected a short to come in here or a cash bill be paid now. That is enough for the court, which I'll give, I'll give the DPP the proceedings in the next one hour or two hours. They'll get the proceedings started on myself. Um, as for the issue, the, the legal issue of municipal bill, let me comment on that one. They're no problem. Me being hard, they're no problem with that. Let me give my view on it. Whether what I've, uh, the, my decision amounts to municipal bill or not, and make a ruling. Yes, I have to give a date for the one at the now. Because I won't hear this. What I've ruled is that I won't take plea the way it is for so these persons charged with felonies, one is absent. So my ruling on that one, a huh? trial process begins with a plea. However, even when you are arrested, you can be released on bond by the police. Yeah, it doesn't matter that we live, uh, that we're going to wait for one for, for one year, two years for you to be on bond. You will on bond. The moment you are arrested by the police, you should live on bond if we'll get you. So plea is yet to begin. Th that's my ruling, I have to stand by it. But you have the right to appeal to the high court, eh? I have to stand by that one. Huh? So let me come back huh? and deliver my view on that and so at the part of uh, bell aspect. Of course a short one, eh? And then we'll take a date now for the one who arrested them, the first accused person, so that would take plea for all of them and don't I also did comment there in, eh, in Orbiter that uh, unless the state withdraw the first accused person, that's when I will take plea for the three one. But if I told the judge with the a misdemeanor, misdemeanor means assault, those simple cases, then we can take plea against them. The judge is felony, so I won't take plea when they absent, eh? One of them is absent. So let me retreat and come back and deliver my legal opinion on what the very well. Of course, the one that against the first, the first that person never upset will, that will remain. That will not. So, so you, yeah, that is already there. I can make that one now. Even there. It's already made, but not. You, you have promised me that you are going to write a ruling on this. And to the rebel only. Okay, so can I have you copy? You all have you all have just appeal and proceeding in the next two hours you'll get. You, you all you all have leave to appeal proceeding in two hours time for you to go to the high court. Yeah. So let's retreat. Fifteen minutes I come back for the bail and then we we'll take a date now for the plea. Is there an issue? Okay. Okay, yeah. Yes. So, like, we'll have a long day again. <laughs> I'm here for you, but I'm here for you. We'll come back. There's no problem, eh? Yeah, yeah. So, let me retreat. The belt on the there, you can. <laughs> So can we retreat for 15 minutes, we come back on that and we have to So 15 minutes time, we rise Kidogo.